Well, hello and welcome back, and thank you for coming back. Today, while we're in downtown Ketapapus, you might have guessed it, we're in our normal haunts, and we're gonna go and show you something that's special, and that's something that's new, and something you've not seen before. But before we do, let's have a look at the rear end of Ochin Graciliano Le Bouffe. Hello, everybody. How nice to see you again, and again, Mr. Paul. Have you seen that? Well, this is not what I was going to show you, but Ochin Graciliano Le Bouffe seems to want to show you these multi-million euro apartments that have unfortunately been repossessed by the bank. There they are. They've seen better days. Hopefully someone's going to come along and buy them. Okay. If you've got about 20 million, you can buy the whole lot. Right, come on. That's the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. And this is what we want to show you. Because this is the beautiful, refurbished, new decked area to the higher echelons of the toilets. Yes. On top of the toilets is where this raised deck area is. But look at the view. Look at the actual spectacality of it. It actually gives you a totally different view from the ground level because we're now up in space almost. Let's follow the rear end of Gracidi Alabouf and see what it's all about. So you can come up here, bring your towel and have a nice little sunbathing area. And you can even look down into the lower section down there. That's to give light to the changing rooms and toilet areas, obviously. We don't actually look into the toilets, if you understand me, but it gives light to the lower area. Anyway, have a look at that. So that over there is the Almira Annabelle Group Hotels. That's what they are. And there's a nice little sunbathing area there, which is not exclusive to the hotel. You can go there, pay 250 a pop for a sun lounger, 250 a pop for the umbrella. There's also a towel service, there's also a safe service, and there's also a drink service as well. As we come round, there's the lifeguards getting ready to save you if you get yourself into trouble. And then this is a very nice swimming area, because as you can see in the distance there, there is a nice railings and steps to allow you to get back in to the water there, so you don't get to cut your little feeties on the rather beautiful looking rocks. But look at that. That's the spectacularity of the downtown Ketapapos promenade and all the way out to the harbour. And there's a nice little ship coming back in. And the sun, well, the sun is glistening today, and that's for sure. It's getting ready to set up in the sky, and we're going to get a great, great sunset tonight, that's for sure. You see? You no, know, at the moment being, the sun and the wind are fighting together with, with each are. other. Yeah, Do you understand are. that? Yeah. But uh, at this moment of time, it's quite pleasant, even if it's a bit of hot. Yes, that was a sort of a weather forecast for you, Mr. Dave Jonah. The wind and the sun are fighting. We're coming to the end of the summer, so of course we understand the summer is trying to stay, but the autumn is trying to win. And we all know what's going to happen, the autumn is going to win, which means the temperatures come down and the humidity vanishes and Paphos actually becomes more beautiful than it ever can at any other time of the year. Have another look before we go back down. Have a look at that. Absolutely spectacular. A truly, truly beautiful place to come. Whether you're going to come for a weekend, it's not that far. A week, 10 days, a fortnight, or perhaps even the rest of your life. Paphos is truly a great, great destination. So get yourself on a bird or a canoe and start paddling like crazy because all that's actually missing is you and Graciela Le Bouffe is waiting for you. Yes, we're waiting for you, all of you, all of you. <laughs> right, let's follow the rear end. And you never know, there's a bit of fitness equipment over there. She might get physical, you never know. Here we go. And it's that time of day when there doesn't appear to be that many littlies about Grisivi. So all the machines are free. So we're going to have a get physical extravaganza. Here we go. Stick with us. There's going to be a lot of rear end views and a lot of blue, blue Mediterranean sea views as well. There we are. This is her favorite. Let's get physical, physical. Let's get. This one always makes me laugh. Let me get away. You won't be able to hear a sing, but you're going to be able to see those legs splitting, and it makes me laugh, that's for sure. Look at that. Absolutely spectacular. And that's what it's actually all about, that rear end view. So stick with us. You never know. We might get us go on a few other machines as well. Ooh. Any good? Yes. Yes. Perfect. Which one next, Grisivi? 
Next one is... Is that one over there, wasn't it? Nope, this one. She's going to try this one today. Here we go. On you get. So this is some exercise, exercising equipment that's been installed by the municipality, that's the local council. And they're here on this promenade. They're, up, they're on various promenades, by the way, up and down the Paphos coastline. She doesn't like that one. She decided that one's just too much hard work. So we'll get to her second favourite, which of course is that one. There we are. On we get. Good? Very good. Very Always nice. brings a smile to her face. Let's get a bit further away so you can actually see the fun that I'm seeing. There we go. Go on, Grisivi, keep going. And let's get round for that rear end view. Because that's what it's actually all about. And I'll have a seat. And now I've got two absolutely spectacular views. The blue, blue Mediterranean Sea and the rear end of watching Grisivi Air Le Bouffe. Because we do understand that this channel is about three things. Those views, your views, and of course, my views. Your little mouth can't talk. How nice, yeah, because I'm breathing hardly. Come on, Grisini. Let's go. There we are. Who says that this channel doesn't bring you a bit of fun? Who says that this channel doesn't bring you a bit of excitement? No one's ever going to show you Paphos the way that we do. So stick with us. We are now going to make our way down the Cade of Paphos promenade. And we'd like you to come with us. That's the view. And that's what we're going to share with you all the way down. And we're going to name some of the restaurants, some of the bars and some of the businesses. You're going to hear us monkeying around and you're going to hear us talking about a load of rubbish, obviously. But hopefully it's going to entertain you. And hopefully it's going to want to make you come to see the beauty and the spectacality of downtown Cade of Paphos. Because it's a beautiful, beautiful place, that's for sure. The parade starts off with the Bank of Cyprus. There's a fishing and dining shop. There's a kiosk. There's a coffee. There's a frozen ice cream shop. There's an optician. There's a jewellery shop. And this one's the Banya restaurant. Got a great, great view. Always busy at any time of the day or night. And the reason for that is food's very good. Drinks are very good. But on top of all that, it's got that. One of the greatest views in the world. The beautiful blue Mediterranean Sea. And as we come round past the Banya, we come to the municipality area that has been constructed with the ease of getting into the sea in mind. There's changing rooms, there's showering rooms and there's locker rooms so you can get changed, have a dip, get changed again and go off and carry on with your travels because Paphos is all about fun, all about excitement. Have a look at that. That's the blue blue, Mediterranean Sea. And then over there is the changing rooms and the locker rooms. And you've got all these little piers that allow you to transcend into the Blue Mediterranean Sea without chopping your feet to pieces. Because obviously Paphos has a beautiful coastline, but it's a very rugged coastline, if you understand me. So there's these areas that allow you to get down without harming yourself, shall we say. Anyway, come on, Christine, a little bit. Let's go and have a look and see what's going on on the downtown Cade of Paphos promenade. Are you having a good time? Yes, there's a lot going on today. Oh, yeah. Yes, there we are. So, we're back on to the parade. You've got the Osun restaurant, a massive restaurant across the front there. The Leonardo's restaurant. You've got the Athos Diamond Shop. That's a terrible shop to go to. And then you've got the Ideal Cafe over there, which at this time of day, to be honest, is quite busy because it's quite warm and it's that funny time of day. It's between lunchtime and evening meal time. I'll leave you to work it out. There we go. Right. The promenade is not busy, but it's very, very hot indeed. Again, there's the blue, blue Mediterranean Sea. Again, a pier that allows you to go and sit and ponder your thoughts, have a fish, or even transcend into the beautiful blue Mediterranean Sea. There's a nice boat coming back in. And there's some beautiful rock formations. And the sea is lapping around them. Because as I say, there's a little bit of fun and games going on at the moment. Autumn is arguing with the summer. And we all know that the autumn is going to win. And that makes Paphos absolutely beautiful. Towards middle of September, Paphos does start to pick up again, uh, mainly with the British, and quite a few Germans come out, and quite a few Swiss as well. Because they understand that that is the greatest time of year to come to Paphos, because it's not too hot, but just hot enough. And it's not too chilly at night, but just chilly enough, if you understand what I mean. Food's great, service is great, and the hospitality of the country is great. I think all month, this month, is going to be very pleasant to, to be here. Uh, as it unfolds, yeah. yeah. As it unfolds, correct. This parade of shops over here 
starts off with a wooden pub, very popular pub with locals and expats and of course tourists alike. You've got a homeless diamond shop, you've got a more for less gift shop, have a look gift shop, and then you've got the Azure cafeteria. And I keep mentioning this one because if you come there before 10.30 in the morning, coffee of your choice, and then on top of the coffee, you actually get a nice croissant or cake of your choice. And that cake or croissant is free of charge, totally free of charge. Very, very tasty indeed. Been there a couple of times, and I've enjoyed it. And of course, the view is absolutely spectacular because here it comes. That's the view. And it's even a view good enough for a man from Rotherham, shall we say. There we are. Have a look at that. As we span round and scan into the downtown Kerepapos Harbour and the promenade, there's boats coming in and out. And there's a lot of monkeying around, that is for sure. Is it? Uh, the man from Rotherham. Uh, Rotherham. 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 My God, how to pronounce this is very, very difficult for me. But Mr. Dave Giorno, hello everybody. How nice to see you again and again. He knows what I mean. I would like to thank you for watching. It was very nice. You know. It's a little drummer boy yeah, going on in yeah, there. Yeah. yeah. And please, don't forget to come and see another of our magnuses. We are loving you to be and bye bye. What well, Stefan says, thanks for watching. Of course, if you like what you see, hit the like, please subscribe. Please come back for a little bit more of our madness. Come back in a few hours, and guess what? We'll be off in the harbour again. You see me? Yes, of course. We'll be everywhere again for you all. Because you know what? We're loving you to be. And we will go anywhere you want us to go. This is for sure. Thanks for watching.